All right, guys, today we're going to look at how to overclock an AMD processor. Now, AMD is going to be a little bit different steps than an Intel, so we'll just be talking about AMD today. But if you can see here, I'll try to zoom in. Uh, my processor is 3.01 gigahertz. Uh, it's right over here, 3.01 gigahertz. And that's just the stock speed. My processor is actually 3.0 gigahertz, but um, it just happened to end up being like that. <clears throat> so, first thing I'm going to do is get ready to get into the BIOS. And I've got a keyboard plugged directly in, not through USB, but through the green plug. And I found some computers will not let you enter BIOS with a USB keyboard, so I use the uh, standard plug-in keyboard uh, for BIOS. Uh, not all computers need this, but some do. <clears throat> so I'm going to give my computer a small overclock and give you guys some of the definitions and how to do it. And then uh, it's always best when overclocking a uh, CPU to look online and see what other people are doing so you know about what to set it at. So my computer shut down. I'm going to go ahead and restart it now. And then as it restarts, I'm going to hit the button on the keyboard to get into BIOS. I believe it's delete. I think my cat wants food, she keeps meowing at me. I think I put your food out, man, go look for it. Alright, so it's delete to enter BIOS, so now I'm entering the BIOS. And in here, every motherboard's different, but uh, your standard isn't going to give you much. You're going to see kind of information. In your advanced, we should maybe be able to do stuff in here. No, it's not going to be in here. It's uh, going to maybe be in the... Uh, Oh, it's the MB Intelligent Tweaker on this motherboard, but every motherboard is different. So in here, <coughs> there's a few things you could change. And my processor is not unlocked, as some would say. Certain processors, Black Editions with a ATI process, AMD processors especially, they can be unlocked and you can set the multiplier higher. With um, set memory clock, manual auto. With um, a mine that's not unlocked, I can't change the multiplier. So all I can change is the, is the FSB, the front side bust, and the uh, voltage. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is change everything to manual. That's on manual already, so that's good. And the CPU frequency is kind of like the front side bus. And this is between 200 and 500. So stock or standard is 200. I'm going to set mine to 207, as you see here, and hit enter. I'm not going to increase my voltage. As you see down here, uh, I can increase my system voltage, my DDR2 voltage, um, which I have increased a little bit, my north bridge, my CPU voltage. I can increase all of it. So if you start increasing your CPU speed too much, you want, might want to start increasing your CPU voltage. I'll give mine an extra... 0.025 volts, just a quarter of a volt, because I raised mine from just 200 to 207. So that's just going to give me a little bit of a of a boost in my uh, speed. So let me go ahead here now, and I believe I hit F10. So I'm going to hit F10 to save and exit, and I'm going to hit Yes to save and exit, and then go. Now, like I said, uh, that 200 number is what you want to change as long as as well as the voltage when you up. When you uh, make that 200 number higher, it also increases the speed of your RAM. So you're also going to want to maybe give your RAM some more voltage, so keep that in mind. If you have an unlocked processor, then you can increase the uh, number, the, um, the times number. You'll know what I mean. If you have an unlocked processor, you'll see it, usually black editions with AMD. And uh, that, if you raise that number, it will not increase your uh, RAM speed, so you won't have to worry about increasing your RAM uh, voltage. So once we get into Windows here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys what just happened when I increased that number of 200 to 207, and I also gave my processor a little more voltage because it's got a little more speed, not much, just a little. So I'll go to Computer Properties, and here now, instead of 3.01, I'm at 3.11. So I'll leave it there for now. That's that's a good speed for now. I could probably get this processor up to probably around 3.5, but I'm not looking to overclock it like crazy. It works fine as is. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit on how to overclock an AMD uh, processor uh, through your BIOS. If you have any questions, let me know, and we'll see you guys next time.